Almost half of New Zealand's carbon emissions come from methane, and most of that comes from dairy animals or sheep or beef. And so we're looking at ways we can reduce those emissions by identifying bulls that are low emitters, and therefore the cows, their offspring, that will be low emitters. And that way we reduce New Zealand's carbon footprint. So genetic variation has been shown in other species. So sheep, we know that genetics actually influences how much methane is produced. So we're quite confident that we can achieve the objective of identifying animals which are more efficient for methane. New Zealand cows eat grass mostly, so we needed a forage-based diet. So what we've selected is lucerne. So this is dried lucerne hay that's been put into a cube and they've got ad lib access so they can eat basically as much as they want. The machines read the air tag when they go into the machine and they record how much has disappeared so we know how much each animal's eating. We bring the animals in for four to five weeks. So over that four to five weeks, uh, we know how much they've eaten, we know how much they've grown, but the main thing is we also measure on a daily basis how much methane they actually produce. So we measure it through attracting the animals into the machine with some really nice food, some a treat for the animals. They come in, they have a nibble, but we capture their breath for two or three minutes. And most of methane is actually emitted through the breath. It's groundbreaking. The beauty of genetics is that any improvement that we can get in genetics, we can embed in the population and it's cumulative. So it's a, it's a gain we get and we can keep building on it. And that's really important for the dairy industry. This trial here, what we're hoping to achieve is in 2050, five or 10% less methane is produced from our dairy industry. We've done an amazing job to get better outcomes from the same inputs. You know, each one of the cows that we have in New Zealand now produces a whole lot more um, for the same inputs that we put in, you know, maybe 20 or 30 years ago. So that kind of progressive development that we've seen in production, we want to now see in methane reduction. Producing while reducing um, is, I think, the line used, and, and I'm, I'm sure we can do that. We are innovative, we're creative and we're cooperative. The government's target is to reduce methane by 24 to 48 per cent by 2050 and it's great for us to be part of it working closely with our major competitors CRV and with government funding. This is a great example of industry collaboration with government support. Yeah.